first things first just so you guys know i do have on a top it is a tube top it has been a super lazy day i am not feeling a hundred percent caleb is not a hundred percent he woke up this morning and threw up all over the bed so I did not even feel like cooking today, but I was like, nope, I gotta, I gotta get it done. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Candice and my channel is pretty much just as random as I am. I am a mom of five. I am currently six months pregnant with my sixth baby. And this is my second week of doing what's for dinner. Oh, hi. You guys don't know, this is Caleb. He will be two next month. This is my real life. This is what goes on. My baby is not feeling 100%, but the show must go on. Dinner must go on. So as you guys know, I do have a pretty large family. We are a family of seven. So all of the recipes that I share with you, of course, are for a larger family, but you are more than welcome to cut these recipes down. I try to keep things pretty cost efficient and very simple. I am not the best cook. Your girl just started cooking a few years ago if you want the guy honest truth. So a lot of these recipes are very, very easy. Um, tonight we are gonna be having baked fish, some shrimp, rice, and I believe some broccoli. I believe later on in the week, we are gonna be doing maybe some chicken noodle soup, some stuffed peppers. Don't hold me on this. <laughs> I know we're definitely gonna be doing the chicken noodle soup. The rest of the recipes will be, you know, kind of up in the air, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let's just, <laughs> let's get into tonight's dinner. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> Push the button, thank you. Let me just show you guys really quickly how Amazon Fresh just keep playing me. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, I'm gonna leave my at down here at the bottom for you. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Naturally Candice and you will hear about my rants with Amazon Fresh. Let me see, last week I got a delivery that was never delivered to my door and then they asked me to wobble to my neighbor's house to see if the package was delivered to my neighbors. Mind you guys, I'm six months pregnant. I'm not wobbling anywhere going door to door in the middle of a pandemic. Now today, all I did was order lemons. I needed lemons for the salmon. They sent onions, cilantro, <laughs> tomatoes, avocados, and limes. I don't know whose order this is, but it arrived at my front door and I think I'm gonna try to use the limes tonight. I am not a cilantro fan, I hate cilantro. I don't know what to do with the tomato, I, I don't know. I'm gonna figure something out. They sent me all the stuff to kind of make tacos or guacamole, but I am not in the mood for tacos and I do not like guacamole. I don't like avocado, I don't like cilantro. Tomatoes are kind of iffy for me, but I'm, I'm gonna see what we can what we can make happen with this stuff. All right, I think I got everything that I need. I'm kind of just gonna freestyle when it comes to the salmon and the seasoning. I did put on my Instagram for people to send me like some new salmon recipes and a lot of them were like fish. I mean, not fish, salmon is the fish, but a lot of them were like honey and teriyaki and like a sweet glaze and AJ is not a fan of sweet meat, sweet barbecue, sweet fish, sweet seasoning, so. I think I got something worked out that is going to work together, but nonetheless, this is the bag of salmon that we use. This is from Sam's. I think this bag is $25. It's two and a half pounds, and it comes already in the little fillets. I will show you the little fillets that it comes in, and it does already come uh, skinned. And then this is the shrimp. This is what I had left. I threw the bag away, but this shrimp, you do have to peel and devein it. So this is like clean, peeled, devein, rinsed. And then I have some broccoli that I'm gonna steam. Something with these limes that Amazon sent. Uh, the green and the red bell pepper, definitely gonna use those. And then I'm gonna put the yellow rice on. I wanted to show you guys, this is literally the best yellow rice. It is so good. I get it from Sam's. I can't even remember off the top of my head how much it is. I think it's like five or six bucks. 
but I am going to put it in my Instapot. It's really easy to make and I love it. I follow directions to the T, but it is really, really good. You guys have to try it. And then as far as seasons go, you guys know Old Faithful onion and garlic. I got Old Bay, some seafood seasoning. I got some minced garlic. I would have liked to use fresh garlic, but I don't have any, so whatever. And then I'm going to be using some butter. So let's get started. So this is what the little packs of salmon look like. I love them because they come already skinned and individually packed. So if I just wanted, you know, to make one little salmon fillet for lunch, I could. And that bag was two and a half pounds. It came with two, four, six, seven pieces of salmon. And Jew and Carter are actually with their mom. So it's just me, AJ, JJ, and Caleb. So this should be more than enough for us. Plus me and the boys will eat shrimp. AJ doesn't eat shrimp so yeah if it was all seven of us I would probably need two bags of the salmon to make it enough for everybody but for tonight this will do and you guys can see they're like a good not a good selection a good size of fish they give you like the bigger ones and then like the small little fillets but yeah I think it's 25 or 23 somewhere around there I'll try to find the link for you guys if you're like super interested but I got it at Sam's So I put the salmon in a baking dish. I did put some olive oil down first and I'm gonna add a little olive oil on the top. I'm just gonna season it with salt, uh, Old Bay onion powder and garlic powder and a little seafood seasoning. And then I'm going to saute up some garlic, the red pepper, the green bell pepper with um, and some butter. And I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper flakes and some soy sauce. And then I'm gonna like glaze it over the top, cover it and then put it in the oven to bake for a little bit. So peppers are looking pretty good cooking down. I'm going to go ahead. I have this and then I have a whole like another jar of the garlic, but I'm going to use this up first. So I'm just eyeballing y'all. I have no idea. And because I'm extra, I'm going to use just a little bit more garlic. <laughs> Smells so good. All right, now that that is kind of cooked up, I don't want the garlic to burn. No butter left behind. <laughs> go ahead and go in with the soy sauce. So I did 10 dashes of soy sauce. That is low sodium, so not too salty, but 10 little on the top. I'll go ahead and add in the red pepper flakes for a little kick. There we go. Mm. Smells like it's gonna taste pretty good. Oh, forgot. <laughs> Gotta use these limes. So I just cut it in half and I'm gonna squeeze. Well, try to squeeze. Come on. Get, get. <laughs> Food Network won't be calling with that squeeze. <laughs> Try to squeeze some lime juice right into there. All 
Alrighty, so this is a close up. Sorry, my camera and like the glare and how my how the sun is coming in today, but y'all, it looks like it is going to be bomb. You can see like the sauce is down at the bottom. Now, I know some people bake their fish like on 400 uncovered. I like to bake my salmon for about 20 minutes on 375 covered with foil. And then I take the foil off and turn the oven up to 400 for like five, 10 minutes just so it can kind of crisp up and broil up. So that is what I'm gonna do. Let me get my foil. Oh, my foil is already out, but y'all get into this. It looks good. Oh, I might have did something. Food Network might come on me for this. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got my water boiling. It's just a little water in there. Usually I steam my broccoli right in my Instapot, but since I used it to make the yellow rice, I'm just gonna add the broccoli right in there to steam it. I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, garlic, a little butter. Sorry, I had to dump some of that water out. That was like way too much water. You really don't need that much water when you're just steaming it. Ooh, come on lighting. Oh, <laughs> there we go. As you can see, I put like two tablespoons of butter. Um, I had already put the salt, a little garlic on the top, and now I'm just gonna let it steam on up for probably like five, six, seven, eight, somewhere around there. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my oven up to 400. Hey, Caleb. I'm gonna take the foil off so you guys can see what we're working with. Yeah, I definitely like my salmon a little more well done and I definitely like a little crisp edge. So I'm gonna put it back in the oven for probably maybe five, seven minutes. I might even turn the broil on just so it can get like that crispy crust across the top. But when I tell y'all, it smells bomb. No more cookies, Caleb. He's begging for a cookie. <laughs> he got to get his hair braided, but no more cookie. No, no cookie. Seasons for the salt, for the salt, <laughs> for the shrimp. I'm just going to use a little bit of salt. I'm going to use some garlic powder, of course, because who doesn't want garlic on their shrimp? Some garlic. I'm going to use a little seafood seasoning it does have a little kick to it then i'm also going to use a splash of old bay boom 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 good stuff i'm gonna stir this all together and then saute it up real quick and plate Alrighty, and here's the final well the finished product have not tried the fish yet, but it came out good. Peppers got a little burned on the top from the broil, but that's just extra season, you know what I'm saying? So, this is the plate, that yellow rice. Looking bomb, looking bomb. I'll get some taste tests in a few minutes. How's the fish? Good. Good, you like? Mm-hmm. You like? I haven't tried it yet. Oh, you haven't tried it? Too hot though. It was hot. I thought my plate could have been a little hotter. I think it's absolutely delicious. It do have a little kick to it. Mr. W, I'm scared to put him on cam. <laughs> you like it? Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> thumbs up. Okay, we'll eat. I'll come back. I'd just like for you to get YouTube out of my face. <laughs> the, the, the meal was delicious, okay? <laughs> the fish was fire. The fish was fire. Y'all, and I'm I... I'm about to grab seconds now. I freestyled that, that sauce I told y'all. So, this meal is definitely... Oh, no more rice. I didn't make that much rice because usually you don't eat that much rice, babe. 
There's more broccoli. <laughs> yes, the kids asking Barely. for veggies. It's like four pieces of broccoli in here. I don't know who she thought she was cooking for. <laughs> I'm getting sold out y'all the meal is too good I should have made more but this meal is definitely a thumbs up so you guys got to try it see you tomorrow for chicken noodle soup alrighty as promised tonight we are having homemade chicken noodle soup and this is my first time making this recipe so Wish me luck. <laughs> I, I'm gonna link the recipe that I'm using. I'm using Natasha's Kitchen chicken noodle soup recipe. And of course, I believe hers is probably for like a family of four. So I'm gonna double everything up and make it large enough to fit my family. You will need some chicken thighs. The recipe calls for three to four. This is a huge pack of chicken thighs, so I'm probably going to split it in half. We're having chicken quesadillas later on this week, so I'm gonna be doing um, some salsa chicken in the crock pot. So I'm gonna use half of the chicken thighs for the chicken noodle soup and half of the chicken thighs for the shredded salsa chicken. The recipe also calls for celery. Have some celery, carrots, parsley fresh parsley my free onion that i got from amazon yesterday you'll need some chicken broth uh i really hope that this is enough chicken broth it is a small one we'll make it do what it do and then of course you'll need some noodles of your choice i am using these rotini noodles that i got from walmart and then as far as seasons go i'm going to be using a chicken bouillon cube is that how you say it bouillon or bouillon 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 <laughs> cube i'm gonna be using some thyme y'all know garlic and onion boop, boop, boop. some oregano little celery salt salt and pepper and i don't know if i'm gonna use some cayenne pepper to add a little kick y'all know my family likes things a little spicy so i'm not sure yet we'll see but let's get into tonight let's get into tonight's dinner <laughs> Man, I tell you, I can't even talk. I'm so winded. People are here doing weekly maintenance so I'm gonna kind of talk loud plus Caleb is sleeping so I'm like talking loud over the yard man but anyways I have my big mama pot y'all know my pot and the recipe calls for 10 cups of water but since I'm adding more chicken breast than what the recipe calls for I'm actually going to be using I think this is 12 and a half cups of water and I'm just gonna go ahead it says bring it to a boil bring the water and the chicken stock. So this is two cups of chicken stock. Recipe calls for four, so I'ma just end up using this whole box of it because I think that should be about right. <laughs> yeah, four cups. I need to get better with my math, y'all. I am not good <laughs> with math. So for future reference, I know that 32 ounces is four cups. Just, just remember that, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and bring that to a boil and I'm gonna drop my chicken bouillon cube in it and once that starts boiling, then I'm going to put the chicken thighs in there. but y'all know I'm extra and I really want my soup to be like flavorful so I went ahead up and kind of seasoned up my chicken thighs before I put them in there to boil I use seasoned salt garlic onion a little salt and a little black pepper just to kind of coat it and add a little extra flavor I'm currently waiting for the water to start boiling once it boils I'm gonna add the chicken thighs directly to the water Chicken is boiling. I have about 
10, 12 minutes more. I just put some olive oil in, in here and I'm going to saute up the onions and the celery. Ooh, oh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so my onions and celery have cooked down. I'm gonna just go ahead and add them right in. As you guys can see, they started browning on me, embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in to finish cooking and boiling down. And then I'm gonna add my carrots right to the broth. I'm tripping y'all. I actually can just bring all of this over here. I can add my carrots and parsley right in. Tripping. Let's put that right on in there. Alrighty, so. Got everything in there. Chicken is looking good. I think I'm gonna let the chicken kind of boil down just a little bit more and shred it up. So I'm gonna probably cover this for another 15 or so minutes. And oh, when should I add the noodles? I gotta check the recipe. I think it said it's okay to add the noodles now. Let me see, hold on. I was correct. You can go ahead and add the noodles now. I have two boxes of 16 ounce. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm gonna probably use both. But I'm gonna just go ahead and add the noodles right in. Uh-oh, let me get the other box. And then once I put the noodles in, it says bring it to a low boil. And then I'm gonna remove the chicken. I'll probably, like I said, maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> oh, y'all can't even see no more. Got spicy, but okay. Okay, perfect. Let that cook down, shred up the chicken. Perfect, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. It smells amazing in here. It does smell like somebody grandma house, if I must say so myself. Oh, oh we boiling, baby. I just turned it down some, as you guys can see. Caleb just woke up. <laughs> Let me see what's going on. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start shredding the chicken and then just letting it simmer on down. Yeah, that, that, that's what we gonna do. camera dies you guys can see that the noodles have like cooked up it smells really really good I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken back in I did a, a cheat job of shredding it it's not like super shredded but I mean I wanted it kind of chunky but I'm just gonna add the chicken back in and then I'm going to season it and turn it down to low and then let it just do its thing. Salt. Can't forget the salt, baby. Little pinch of thyme. Thyme on my mind. Boop, 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 boop. Alrighty. So here is the finished soup. Let me tell you guys, my broth kind of cooked out on me. So it's not like super soupy. It's a little in there, but definitely should have added more water and chicken broth. But I think the flavor profile is still going to be delicious. So I'll get back to you guys through a couple of crackers there. I think it's going to be good though. What you think? Just need more broth, not real soupy. 
You like? Mm -hmm. Of course, they put hot sauce. What you think, babe? Where's the broth? <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna probably have to use like 20 cups of water, but 50. 50? We just had chicken and noodles last week. <laughs> she did have some vegetables. <laughs> right, she just cut some carrots and all <laughs> So yeah, guys, definitely needed more broth to give it that soup feel, but definitely. Good. But the flavor is good. Carrots, the meat is seasoned. The noodles are bomb. So we giving it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Not all the way though. It's like this. <laughs> like this. Okay. You know, broth. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Crackers for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome back. Today's dinner, we are having meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Originally, it was supposed to be meatballs, but AJ pointed out a good thing that the kids and him were probably gonna have to eat like seven, eight meatballs a piece. So I said, scratch that, just gonna make some meatloaf. So here is everything that I'm gonna be using to make my meatloaf. I'm gonna, of course, be using some ground turkey. I'm gonna make some homemade mashed potatoes. We're gonna have garlic mashed potatoes, string beans, uh, I was not thinking. I don't think this is going to be enough for all seven of us. I'm probably probably going to have to stop by Publix in a few and get another bag. Or maybe if I cut these in half, this might work. I don't know. It might work, but also going to need an onion, some garlic, and two eggs, some breadcrumbs. Now, the last couple of times that I made my meatloaf, it fell completely apart on me. So I'm not sure if I need to add another egg or if I need to add more breadcrumbs. So I may add an additional egg just to see this go round if that helps like bind it together. Now, as far as the glaze or the sauce, I just kind of freestyle my sauce, ketchup, mustard, liquid smoke, soy sauce, honey, and brown sugar. I think that sometimes I add a little dab of barbecue sauce, so I might add a little barbecue sauce. And then for the mashed potatoes, heavy whipping cream, sour cream, of course, garlic, salt, and pepper. And then as far as seasons go for my actual meatloaf, y'all already know, onion and garlic powder, oregano, some dry mustard, seasoned salt. This is a Lipton's onion soup. Y'all know. Y'all know what that is. <laughs> salt, pepper, and some W sauce. I don't know if I'm going to use this. I used it a few times, but I don't know. I feel like it could add a little spazzazz to the meatloaf, but I don't know. So I, we, we'll decide on this, but this is everything. I know it looks like a lot of stuff, but really it's simple. Y'all know meatloaf is simple. Season, add the stuff, loaf it up, bake, mashed potatoes, boil, green beans, saute up real quick. But it looks like a ton of stuff, but it's really not it is a ton of stuff but it is a simple meal anyways let's get into it <laughs> It might be a little noisy in my background, but we got homework going down at the kitchen table, but I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375, and I'm also going to get my pan warmed up. I like to saute my onions and garlic before adding it to my meatloaf mixture. Y'all know I'm not a fan of onions, so I like them to cook down, but I'm gonna let this warm up. And then I'm that and then get the meatloaf, meatloaf, <laughs> meatloaf mixture going. <laughs> Alrighty, so as far as seasons, I told y'all I'm gonna be using this. I think this is onion soup. I can't remember. I forgot the box. I had a pack of it for the roast. I'm gonna add just one pack of that. I'm gonna add a little salt. Some onion powder for somebody that don't like onions. Onion soup, onion powder, onions. Garlic powder. A dash of oregano because it just makes me feel fancy. A little oregano. Put a little dry mustard, just a sprinkle. 
a dash of seasoned salt, literally just a dash of that. Some fresh black pepper, fresh cracked black pepper. I tell you, this little thing really does make me feel fancy. <laughs> Cooking show coming soon. And then some W sauce. Just a few dashes, not even sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a little more. There we go. <laughs> and then I don't, I don't see any harm. I we'll just add a little of that burger. I think that's it for the seasons. I think I think we're good there. Alrighty, so while my onions are cooking down, I'm gonna go ahead and get my potatoes boiling. Wow, I did not know they were this big. I'm about to have to cut these up. First of all, never get potatoes from Target. I paid $5 for this bag of potatoes. I knew I should have took my butt to Publix and just got the little red ones, but I guess I'm gonna cut these up because I don't want to boil them this big. Damn you, Target, you fail me. Alrighty, so now I got my potatoes chopped up. No, I do not skin them. My family doesn't really mind the skin on. I actually like them with the skin on, so I'm gonna get these on to boil. Shouldn't take that long, because they're the yellow golden potatoes, but yeah, I'm gonna just fill them up, add some salt, and let them boil down for a little bit. Ready. So my onions are kind of cooking down. They a little brown, but they'll do. I'm gonna just add some garlic, like right. <laughs> Oh, smelling good. Alrighty, so I know I told y'all I wasn't sure if I was going to add two eggs or three. I think I'm definitely going to do three and I'm gonna do a full cup of breadcrumbs. I told y'all last time I made meatloaf, it fell apart, but I also forgot to mention that instead of using breadcrumbs, I call myself being fancy, using Ritz crackers and yeah, that was a no-go. I don't think I used enough. I think, oh my gosh. Y'all see that piece of shell? Got it. <laughs> but yeah, the Ritz crackers, a no-go for me. I, I just think I didn't use enough, but I'm gonna use a full cup of breadcrumbs and it bet not fall apart this time. <laughs> So I think the onions are good and done. I'm gonna let them chill for a second before I put them in there. I don't want them to start scrambling up that egg. <laughs> Such a cornball, but yeah, I'm gonna let this chill for a second and then add it into the meatloaf. Then we should be ready to go to make our loaf. Alrighty, much better, but yeah. I just use a baking dish and I'm gonna just put my loaf right in there, so. I mean, if you got a loaf pan, you can use a loaf pan. I'm just not a fan anymore of it. So, all right, so I'm gonna add the onions and the garlic right in. Some people just put their hands right in there. I just can't do it. So I'm just going to use the spoon. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to use my hand. Oh, please, no. I'm gonna try to do that. I really don't wanna have to put my hand in there. I promise when you be watching like the Food Network <laughs> and other people like stirring up their meat, they make it look so easy. Like, oh, just fold it in. Bup, 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 bup. <laughs> I just feel like <laughs> my stuff is not in and I'm like tripping on putting my hand in here but i'm about to have to use my hand to make the actual loaf the meat loaf so backwards so i'm just gonna 
put that right there. Okay, so now to freestyle this sauce. This is usually all the stuff I use, y'all see. I did add the sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce because I'm almost certain that I do use barbecue sauce. So for the base, of course, I'm gonna start with ketchup. Oh, when did I get this? This is fancy, organic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am gonna start with, that's probably about like two cups eyeballing it some brown sugar because <laughs> no sauce is complete without a little brown sugar glaze there we go use splashes of soy sauce to give us a little salty flavor salty sweets i'm gonna go in with uh oh <laughs> a little mustard some liquid smoke one, two, three, just a few dashes of liquid smoke. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Some barbecue sauce. A boop, boop. Literally not too much honey because I did add the brown sugar. And we're gonna give that a spin. Alrighty, so I had my taste testers, AJ and Carter. And if Carter likes it, you know it's good. So they said it's pretty damn good, so good to go. Now I know some people add their glaze at the end. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. I add a glaze on it before. And then once it's done, I add a little more glaze on it and kind of like, um, broil it up so it gets crispy but I like for the glaze to like cook into it so that's why I made such a good amount and I am just going to spread that all over the top like so So potatoes are done. I drained them. I'm gonna go ahead. I like to mash mine up first, then add like all of the ingredients. And they are like super done. They are like mashing down with no problemo. So I'm just going to I'll mash it up. I'll mash it up. Sorry, Caleb malfunction, but I'm gonna use a good let me start lying to y'all. I'm gonna use the whole stick. <laughs> let me just let me just stop playing. I'm gonna use a good amount of garlic because why? These are garlic mashed potatoes. Salt. A good amount of salt. Garlic powder. Why? Because these are garlic mashed potatoes. Okay. I wish I had white pepper, but I don't. Some fresh cracked black pepper, just a little bit. <laughs> Y'all, I almost couldn't get that off. So this is 16 ounces. I'm probably going to add half of this to start. Just see where that gets me. And then, little favorite here, just a little little squirt of sour cream then I'm just gonna use a fork you can use a whisk if I was being like super fancy I would probably get my blender out and really blend it together but Alrighty, so my taste tester tasted them. I tasted them first. They did need like a little salt, but they are good to go. Let me get you guys in. Mm, they smell amazing. So these are good. I'm gonna just put the top on them. We got about 17 more minutes for the meatloaf. I'm gonna go ahead and get the string beans ready. I decided that I'm going to roast them real quick, 
little oil on them, salt, pepper, call it a night. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add, whoop, run away, run away, run away, run away. Little oil. Salt. Pepper. Alrighty, so this is the final plated up. I'm gonna probably put a little of the drizzle. Meatloaf held together pretty well. Glaze, green beans, mashed potatoes. I will get the taste test for you guys after the boys and AJ eat, but looking good. Well, whoa, <laughs> we see Mr. W's reaction. What does the chef think? I like it. I should have chopped those onions up some more. No, they're perfect. They were? Yeah. Really good. I like it. And, it. and it held together. <laughs> whoa, because he's, he's eating. <laughs> Green beans, I love them. And it's good. You? <laughs> He's just shifting the potatoes around on his plate. <laughs> and trying to pretend that there's still something to drink in that cup. There's nothing in there. Well, I think tonight's dinner was a hit. What are we giving it? Thumbs up. Ten. Thumbs up. Jalen. What he gave me? Down. A thumb? A thumbs down. Throw that shit away. <laughs> oh, excuse my language, YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna let the chef conclude her video after this. We'll be Wait. right back. Vultures, I tell you. Vultures. There's absolutely nothing left. Probably only mashed potatoes left. Ain't a green bean piece of meatloaf it is, it is inside. Jew said he about to get them. Vultures, I tell you. Vultures. There's absolutely nothing left. Probably only mashed potatoes left. Ain't a green bean piece of meatloaf it is, it is inside. Jew said he about to get them. Alrighty, welcome on back, guys. What's today? Saturday? I think the last time I seen you guys was Thursday. Yeah, because last night we had pizza, Domino's. Um, it was all right. But anyways, it is Saturday night and we are having chicken quesadillas. Earlier this week when I made that chicken noodle soup, remember I had split the pack of chicken thighs in half. So I had just marinated the rest of those chicken thighs. This is olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Y'all already know. Uh, cumin and a little chili powder. And I am getting ready to put this in my crock pot. This is a recipe that I got, I think off of Pinterest. Maybe it was YouTube. You put the chicken thighs or the chicken breast into the crock pot with a little bit of salsa and let it cook down. It's gonna shred beautifully. And you can actually use this for quesadillas. You can use it for empanadas. You can use it for like chicken and rice. So many things that you can use this chicken for. This is like my third time making it. We love it. But this is my first time actually marinating the chicken. So I hope it does well. Um, the recipe says only salt and pepper in the salsa. The first time that I tried that, I, first of all, I didn't just use the salt and pepper. Y'all know me, but it was not seasoned enough. So I decided to go ahead and marinate the chicken. You can do what you like. If you only want the salt and pepper, it just wasn't seasoned <laughs> enough for us. And I'm just using some basic salsa. I think this is what I had left over. It was buy one, get one free at Publix. And then I'm going to be using a liner for the chicken, uh, for the crock pot. I'm sorry. You don't have to use one. I just feel like this is so easy. These are kind of expensive, but I've been using them now since I'm back using my crock pot and I really, really love them. And then these are the tortillas. I just pulled those out the freezer. This is from the big pack that I got from Sam's and it'll be more than enough for us to make quesadillas tonight. So, so. 
really simple. Just gonna grab a liner. When I told my mom I was using these crock pot liners, she was like, girl, I don't use no liner. I cook it right in there. And you definitely can, but I've noticed that this makes the cleanup just easier. You can just like transfer it straight from the bag to a storage container. So I like it. I think I had made, what was that, chili using that? But yeah, so see? And then when you're done, you just pull the liner out and you can wipe it off yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and just dump the chicken thighs in there ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. yeah i'm gonna make sure i get all of that little season out yes i love marinade it smells so good y'all zip that back up put it to the side let me show you guys what the chicken is looking like up close you guys can see and i forget what the recipe says one cup two cup I'm gonna be using the whole thing of salsa and you can use whatever salsa you like this is I think I used this last time but it's just a medium blend of salsa and I'm just going to layer it right over the top of the chicken. I'm gonna use the whole thing. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. I'm not even sure how many chicken thighs. I think that's like six or seven chicken thighs. Again, you can use chicken breasts. I just feel like the breast, the breast meat gets kind of dry, so yeah. I'm gonna put the top on this. We are actually, uh-oh, getting ready to run to Target to get a few things. So I'm gonna get this cooking. It does not take long at all. I am going to put it on, it's, on, it's not that many. So I'm gonna put it on high for four hours. And literally when we come back, it's gonna be like falling apart. It won't even take any time to shred and it will be good and ready to go to layer up in the quesadilla. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty y'all, so I am, well, we are back. And I just wanna show you the chicken. It has cooked for four hours. So now I'm going to shred it up. Let me take the top off. It smells amazing. But you guys can see, oh my God, I wish y'all could smell it. Alrighty, y'all bear with me. Gonna try to do this, but look at that falls apart. See that? But I forgot, is it like a meat gavel that I be seeing on the video? Y'all see the meat? It literally just pulls apart. And this is like perfect, as you can see, for like tacos, quesadillas, like I was saying. We used it for, like literally, I think the first time that I made it, I used a whole pack of chicken thighs. And I think we ate off of it like all week. We did like three or four different meals. AJ even had made like breakfast, like breakfast sandwiches with it. But you guys see the meat is just falling apart. I'm gonna have to put the camera down so I can really like get in there and shred it up you guys in a second alrighty so I kind of shredded it up real good not real good but decent so you guys can really see I'm gonna shred it up a little more when I pull it up out of here but like this is perfect to like make again quesadillas you can make tacos empanadas you can just put it over like some yellow rice with some black beans and it is so like seasoned good. The salsa adds like that extra flavor. Tell y'all, y'all gotta try it. It's bomb. Mm. But you guys see, I still need to shred it. I'm being lazy. <laughs> Ooh, something I do do, like take out that fat. Y'all know how I feel about that fat. Ugh. Come here.
so I got good news and I got bad news, guys. Really didn't get the whole quesadilla making process. It's kind of late. And it's actually the day. Oh, fancy. It's the day. Wait, it's Sunday. I made the salsa chicken on Saturday. We ended up not even making quesadillas because we were still full from earlier. So we're having them tonight. And it's really a quick dinner since it's late. Not even doing any yellow rice or black beans or any sides. But AJ heated up some of the salsa chicken. And he's just making the quesadillas in the skillet. Tortilla, cheese. That stuff is pretty self-explanatory, but maybe next time I'll go into detail, but I don't really feel like it. So I guess it's a good thing and a bad thing because I showed you guys how to make this chicken and the chicken can be used four or five ways. And as you can see, this is a quick meal. How long it took you to make them, babe? <laughs> Probably like 10, 15 minutes. So not even. Not even? It took longer. <laughs> it took longer to feed up the meat. No. Oh. I didn't even get taste tests last night for you guys on the quesadillas, but they were good. AJ and the boys destroyed them. I started to feel like complete crap, so the whole chicken quesadillas just kind of went <laughs> down the drain. I am trying to get better on shortening up the videos for you guys. I'm very proud that I included four meals in this video for you. Let's see, we had the salmon, chicken noodle soup, meatloaf, and the salsa chicken. But I just don't want the videos to be like 40 minutes to an hour. I just feel like that's obsessive. Nobody is really gonna be sitting down watching those. So next week, I'm really going to work on like time management, just getting straight to the point of the meals. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Give me some tips if you have any tips. I know that chicken noodle soup needed some more broth, but <laughs> Uh, yes, if you have any tips or comments or anything for me, just leave it uh, down in the comment section. I will leave the recipes for the chicken noodle soup. What else? I'll try to leave all the recipes in the description box for you guys. Just check the description box in case you have any questions. But until next time, I'll see you guys next week for my third what's for dinner. Yeah, our third week. <laughs> Bye, guys.